and gentlemen, this is Mr. New Vegas. Thank you very, very much for listening. All the latest news coming your way right now. A package courier found shot in the head near Good Springs has reportedly regained consciousness and made a full recovery. Now that's a delivery service you can count on. In addition, the NCR flag has been hoisted over former Legion Outpost Nelson after heavy fighting. NCR officials are calling this a big win for troop morale. The preceding segment was sponsored by the Silver Rush. Silver Rush. Feel the rush of a warm laser in your hand. Well, it's nice to see some more recent news being put on to Radio New Vegas. Hey everybody, TBG Hunter here, and welcome back to more Fallout New Vegas. Last time, we, as the news said, took back Nelson from the Legion. We also did a few things at Camp Forlorn Hope. I couldn't do everything because there is a couple things we need to return that, to do there in the future. I don't know if it would be the far future, but definitely in the future. Uh, we also came to the Repcon headquarters and found that Brotherhood of Steel Patrol that we were supposed to give Eddie to, unfortunately, they got killed by the robots in here. Now, I did a little bit of thinking in between now and, now and then, and I decided to pay a visit to the NCR Ranger safe house because, well, it's really close by and it has some decent weapons and armor, so I thought, eh, why not pay him a visit? I also decided that we're going to do one side quest outside the Vegas walls before we turn back to the Strip to continue with a bit with the main story. And that's classic inspiration that Michelangelo had us, uh, well, sent us out on our way with the camera. And, you know, we got a few, like, locations out here, and we're already out in the wasteland, so might as well do it while we're out here. Now, you might be wondering what my left Repcon at the end of last video, so what am I doing back in here? Well, I forgot to pick up something that I unknowingly had the key for, and I did a little bit of backtracking, research, all that stuff, until I realized that I picked up the key sometime on the third floor. So, let us use it. And behind the door number one, and for some reason not in the container of it, it is the Q35 Mato Modulator. It is basically a pulse rifle on steroids. It, it's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Why do I have a broken hunting shotgun? Get out of here. Where is it? No, that's a hyperbreeder. Where is... Um, probably... P... There you are. The Q35 Mato Modulator unfortunately does not give you an earth-shattering kaboom. But it's ten times better than a regular... Plasma rifle. I almost said, why did I say pulse rifle? I must have been playing too much Destiny before I went into a recording of this, but whatever. Uh, it shoots faster than a pulse rifle. No. It takes less ammo than a pulse rifle, no. which means where, as a pulse rifle took no. like two microfusion charge to take a shot, this only takes one. It has better cr critical damage. It has better conditions. It's basically the better pulse no. rifle. So if you're an energy weapons user, this is actually a really... I guess... Actually, this is probably the first, like, n unique Mojave energy weapon that we haven't gotten that didn't require me to pay a huge sum of money for. Now, as we make our way to the Ranger safe house, I, I'm a little on edge to go in here. The reason is because... If I can pull the map up once again... We're pretty close to Sloan, and there's Quarry Junction. If you remember way back when we started this adventure, we paid Sloan a visit. They said that they were having a death claw problem at the quarry, and it kind of spills over in here. I believe I'm going to be crossing into death claw territory, and I'm not that confident in taking out a death claw just yet. Yes, I know I'm a walking artillery piece right now, but even still, unlike East Coast death claws, West Coast death claws are still BAMFs. And they can kill you in one to two swipes of their claws. So, I'm a little on edge. Even though I have Veronica, even though I have this really powerful weapon, even though I have literally an entire arsenal in my pocket, uh, I'm still not that confident. Yeah, so far, I haven't run into any of them. I'm pretty sure they're mostly out at the main road over there. If I ran into just one Deathclaw at a time, I could handle... Handle it with the with the weapons and the companions I have, but if I run to 
Okay, I'm nervous. I also know we're like near an, a, a dangerous like super mutant area where there are mutant enemies, but I don't know if that was them or that's Death Claws, but eh, whatever. We made it inside, so that's all that matters. Well, that was that was a really fast transition, almost as if that really did need a transition to begin with. But anyways, welcome to the NCR safe house. We get the Ranger Combat Armor. We get a hunting revolver and some ammo. We get trail carbine ammo. We get an assault carbine. We also get salvage power armor and the ranger patrol armor. And that's pretty much it. There's also a reloading bench if I want to make some ammo, which I probably should. I haven't been using a whole lot of re ammo recently. Let's see. Powder rifle. Let's see. What could we use? We'll make some government ammo because I need those. Eight, uh, 45 government ammo, 45. L I'm hoping, I'm hoping, I'm hoping I could get a Ranger, Se Ranger Sequenta with this because it's basically a plentiful version of the... Well, it's a plentiful, unique version of the uh, Hunter Revolver. The bad thing about the safe houses, though, is that all the armor in it is in really bad condition but hey i finally got the game's main armor theme so that's a plus unfortunately unlike the intro showed off these things don't have glow in the dark eyes but it's cool i can also finally wear power armor kind of it, it okay that looks kind of silly uh range patrol armor where, where's that salvage power helmet it's the closest I'm ever going to get to wearing power armor at this point. However, the salvage power armor is poopy. Uh, it has no benefits outside of a bit higher damage threshold. Uh, and you don't need training for it, but it takes away the agility. It's pretty much T-45, but without its benefit of radiation protection. But for now, I'm going to put in the... I'll, put in, I'll give Eddie the combat helmet. I'll give him the ranger armor because I really don't need it right now. NCR. Ranger hat. Uh, okay, okay. Um. Eddie, take everything. There we go. That was weird for a second. I, it was like... I really oh, don't get need to give him. It's haunted armor. Yes, that was combat weird. Combat armor, thirty glasses. But armor. Take my hood back. Ranger helmet, ranger toes, space suit, vault. I'll take that anti venom because if I run into Cazadors, I'm definitely gonna need that. Let's give you the combat helmet. Give you this NCR armor because it's in poopy condition. Combat. There we go, and we are golden. Wait, what? Oh. Well, apparently this thing can't go anywhere, so you know what? I'll just leave it inside the safe house since I really don't have any use for it right now. Uh, I'll just put it in the locker. If I ever do come back, then I'll be sure to pick it up. I'll take that. I'll keep the ranger combat armor though. Patrol and the power armor can stay, though. There we go. Now, occasionally, and unfortunately it doesn't look like they're here, usually a faction member will be inside the safe house. So, since we're in the NCR, there'd be a ranger in here. Uh, if we went to the Brotherhood of Steel one, then there'd be a Brotherhood member there. Legion, the Legion member, and followers. That there, there's a follower member there. And they give you, like, occasional, like, items, like ammo, and... I think it's just ammo, and they can also, like, repair items. Um, okay. Oh. Hey, is there, like, heavy fighting going around over there? It sounds like artillery's being shot. <sighs> what to do, what to do, what to do? Oop. Oh, yep, there's the death claws. I knew... Okay, for a second, I thought I aggroed it, and it was charging towards me. Let's leave before I get my face ripped off. Primitives! I got business back in Prim, so yeah, my face ripped off. Prim it is. I got business back in Prim, so yeah, might as well go back there. And also, it's been a while since we've been to Prim, so it'd be nice to see the friendly faces there. Uh, 
Alright. Now this calls and for a codec moment. Yep, I saw it. There is it camera? is, the codec. Yep, I saw it. There it is, the codec. Now, what the... The hell? Hello? Tabloid journalism. Did I get the picture? I don't think... I think I need to take a picture. Yeah, the one up there, not the regular casino. Also, I probably should get rid of the waypoint so it doesn't, like, confuse the hell out of me. There we go. Uh, there we go. I'm such a good photographer. Hey, you know what? Why don't we pay the people of Prim? Maybe they got anything good for sale. It's been a while, so yeah, might as well indulge a bit. Oh my god, turn where's that radio? I need to turn it off. Veronica, how could you join up with these low lives? Punk? That's my line. Huh. You've got Moxie, buddy. But we don't take kindly to Lady, do you see me? Do you see what I'm wearing? Do you see the companions I have with with she's given me the thousand yard de there. Veronica, you're creeping me out. Year two, I guess there's new the news hasn't reached you yet. Prim has law again. Fuck. We lose again. We heard Prim was ripe for the picking, so figured we could come here and shake down some of the suckers. We weren't expecting a sheriff here. We're just trying to put as many miles from NCR as we can. We don't want to be anywhere near New Vegas when the Legion crosses the river. So that's it? You resorted to robbing and raiding to solve your problems? Pitiful. Our luck has gone south since we lost all of our money gambling in Vegas. We didn't go AWOL from duty to become raiders. But we've seen what the Legion does to people that survive their battles. We wanted to be gone before the fighting starts. And we heard there may be some safety up in New Canaan. Well, why don't you just turn yourselves in? No fucking way. We're deserters now. The NCR isn't going to throw us a ticker tape parade for going home. Well, they do have a few more troops than the four of you. No biggie there. We've been avoiding the patrols and staying low-key until this mess. Well, it would be safer to run and find someplace safe to hide. Maybe you're right. Come on, boys. Let's get the hell out of here before the law shows. Speaking of which, how did you avoid the garrison that's here now? And doesn't look like anyone's inside here. So let's get out of here before I get hit with a copyright strike. Alrighty. Uh, might as well go to the courier station so that we can sell what wares we have. Which shouldn't take too much time. Hello there. Haven't I talked to you already? Oh my god, where's that radio? Whew. Close one. Hey there, youngster. No radio for you, old man. Uh, what do you have for sale? Do you have any unique weapons? I forget if the Prim place has weapons of unique variety. Farm rifle... No, he does not. He has crap. All right, well, might as well just sell the extensive wares that I have. All righty, we are finally sold out on most of the stuff. I Another decided to keep cover. the like the trail carbines yeah. and all that stuff for sale because they're actually worth quite a lot. So if I ever decide to go and pick up another unique weapon, maybe from Silver Rush or maybe from Mick and Ralph's, then we will. Well, then I will be using those things to sell to get better prices with them. Off to Novak. Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is time for us to indulge on Pee Wee Herman's big adventure. We get to take a picture of Dinky the Dinosaur. Let's just get a good view. Might want to back up a bit. Come on. Come on, Dinky. Work it. Work it. Oh, that's just beautiful. Mm -hmm. True art. True art. True art. Off to Helios. You know, am I the only one who's getting like a... I don't know if the people who watch me have this around where they are at, but I'm getting like a big, like, Kosai uh, old world technology vibe from the Helios 1 sign. I think it's the wheel that's doing it for me. 
Also, it took me forever to realize that's the picture I need to take when I first played this because I was like, "What? What's so good about Helios that I need to take the picture of?" And I didn't really think the sign was like stand out that much. All right, where to go next? Um, looks like McCarran's the next stop. And we've arrived at McCarran. Is this what I need to take a picture of? I'm not sure. Yes, it is. Wow, I actually thought I had to take a picture of, like, the terminal building inside this. Also, why the hell is the Welcome to Fabulous New Vegas not on the list of pictures I need to take? I'm, I'm disappointed in you. That's, like, one of the most key-defining things about Vegas, and it's not on the list of things I need to take a picture of. Now, our last stop, and actually someplace I really need to pay a visit to, is the Sunset Sarsaparilla HQ. Now, there is an un... actually, it's not an unmarked quest. It is actually a marked quest that, if you remember the Star Bottle Caps, that's what we've all been collecting them for. And we'll get a bit more into it, but... It's not that far. I mean, gee, I wonder what would be the Sunset Sarsaparilla HQ building. Could it be the one with the giant bottle? But the quest in itself is to get a unique Mojave weapon, which is... Well, it's alright. I have found myself using it from time to time, but... Only if you're, like, an energy weapons user and, like, f wholeheartedly focus on it. But it's still a fun weapon to use. No, I'm surprised. Usually, at this moment in time, I'd be overrun with fiends right now, because this is their territory, and usually you can find them in the truckload here. It's weird. And I guess that's what you have to deal with, with instead of random encounters, it's pre-placed locations where they put the enemies at. Alright, last picture. Beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And why don't we stop in and see... How the old place looks. Hmm. Yep, we got something dangerous in here. Best be on alert to... Oh my god, I can talk to it. Do you tell my fortune? This is like some Five Nights at Freddy's like fan game level of creepy animatronics. Otherwise, say pleased to meet you, and we'll get acquainted. Or if you have more important things to do than talk to old Festus, say goodbye. Five Nights at Sarsaparillas. There, I got I got the title for the game. Someone make it. Pleased to meet you. Info? Until your teeth fall out. Yeah, 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 we've already gone through all that. Uh, let's see how many stars we have. Uh, we've collected quite a few in our adventure. I'm curious to see if I actually collected all of them without even knowing it. How many do I have in total, anyways? I'm kind of curious. 
Let's go down to L and P Sun Sets us below. We've got 20 of them, and I think we needed 30 or 50. I don't remember. Uh, future me, throw it up on the screen when you get the chance. Also, Veronica, Veronica, why are you getting into a boxing pose? There's nothing there. Of course, as soon as I say that, the game likes to call me a liar. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, what's about the silly old visory? I said, what's all this about this silly old visory? Silly old advisory, damn it. Oh god. Oh jeez. What the hell's digital numbness? Oh god. You just said that. So is this Bioshock Infinite now? Oh that's with all soda. Jeez! Gee, I hope I don't have to consume a whole bunch of Sunset Sarsaparilla to get the Star Bottle caps to finish this quest. I'm totally gonna die, aren't I? Is there anything else I need to talk about? Uh, I'm feeling lucky. How do I play? Alright, let's give it a shot. I feel lucky. I feel lucky. Do you feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? Um, alright, uh, blue button. What the hell am I doing with my life now? That's racist. Um, draw again. Alright, one more draw and I think I'll hold. Woo! I felt lucky! Yeah, I think I'm done. I got easier ways to get star bottle caps. Like, right in the fridge. Alright, what do we have in here? I might as well pay this... Energy cell. Actually, you know what? Eh, why not? We might find some star bottle caps here.
On guard! <laughs> this is the fact that his head, like, literally when spinning off its shoulders was just hilarious. Seriously, this place is just begging to be like a Five Nights at Freddy version with Festus being like the animatronic that tries to kill you by just drowning you in Sunset Sarsaparilla. Quick, someone, make a fan game of that. And, I don't know, I'll do scare camp and stuff and play it. Hmm, what do we have here? Sneaking! Close. Starting? Hmm. Spending. Or speeding. Hmm. I could have sworn it would be like the S something. Cracking? Seriously? How is that even close to the other ones? Alright, check messages. Brody, I'll apologize up front if there are any mistakes in this message. I'm trying a new. Detection headset, Maggie the boss man just ordered some kind of a new fangled robot that's supposed to take over some of your deliveries. I'm not supposed to talk about it. You should hear it as soon as I'll write again when I know more. Do not pass this along. Draft. Uh, your rap subject, worst news. We we got trouble. The hush hush experimental robot I told you about the other day. The damn thing is single handedly running all of our distributions in the Vegas area. Now, your boys aren't. Um, temporary leave. It's permanent. Dan, the president wants to see me in the office. I'll finish this later. Oh. Huh. So that was literally nothing but backstory. Well, I guess if people are interested in backstory to places, then it makes sense. I'm curious to see what would the upper levels lead. I haven't actually explored the Sunset Sesperilla HQ. And I'm gonna not explore even more because we've run out of room. Alright, so I guess we'll just leave and... Head back to the Vegas Strip. And we are back on the Strip. Now, before we head to Michelangelo's, I want to take care of a few things because I've been so neglectful to do so. First of which, followers of the Apocalypse, I'm sorry I bypassed you without even talking to you about hey, the you situation. Hey, Mr. House's network yet? I'm a complete and total idiot that I never talked to you when I left after here, bugging the place. But it looks like the bug was deactivated a few minutes after it went online. It looks like House is some kind of countermeasure in place to prevent eavesdropping on this network. We'll get through eventually, just not today. Here are those medical supplies I promised. Hopefully you won't need to use them. Take care. Madam, knowing my luck, I'm going to be using all of them by the end of this adventure. And we leveled up to level 22. Awesome. All right. Let's see what we should do. All right. Put five into speech. Put five into repair. And put five into explosives. Because I do need to up explosives to... I would say at least 50 for quest future down the road. I gave one to Barter because it was just one extra. Actually, you know what? I'll give it to Melee Weapons just to give it an even 35. There we go, so that's what I'm going with, and I'll probably up speech to 100 next level, and probably focus on lockpick, so we can get at the more pesky locks in the future. And, I don't know, maybe I'll go energy weapons again, because I am starting to use the plasma rifle a bit. But, that's what I'm going with. Now the big question, what perk to use? Alright, well we got Voracious Reader, which... I'm debating. I need someone in the comments to tell me if this is actually any good or not, if you've actually picked this perk before. You don't just read books, you tear into them. Damage books, excuse me game, damage books you pick up become blank magazines, which you can use to copy the existing skill magazines at a workbench, or convert blank magazines back into books. So I'm wondering, do I, am I able to turn these into books? And then I'm turning them into skill books, and I could, like, literally get everything up to level 100. I don't know, if anyone's actually taken this perk before, let me know in the comments if this is actually a really useful perk, because I honestly have no idea. We also got Spray and Pray, a completely useless perk if you're playing in normal mode. Your attacks do more, much less damage to companions, which, why the hell are you even shooting at them to begin with, allowing you to literally spray and play the area with reckless abandon. 
I've never had issues with companions taking friendly fire, so I see no reason to get this. And then we got all this. So I'm debating on either to get weapon handling, explore, or Grim Reaper Sprint. Grim Reaper Sprint, although it's not as good as it was in Fallout 3, it's still pretty useful in this game. Explorer, well, it'll show me off all the locations and in the Mojave area, so I'll be able to know exactly where certain locations are and I don't have to do it. But that's what the internet is for, so maybe not have to use this unless there's like a specific location people want me to go pay a visit to. Up in handling, excuse me, I really need to get a new controller for this thing because it's falling apart on me. Uh, weapon strength requirements now two points lower normal for you. Is there anything in the back that I can also take a uh, I could get Terrifying Presence, which is actually a really funny perk. I could get... Hmm. Shotgun Surgeon. I've been using the shotgun a bit. Uh, ignored 10 damage threshold. Mad Bomber. Now oh, I'm surprised I actually got enough of that perk. You mean knowledge allows you to make explosives. Basically, I can make mini nukes at workstations, and they're not just limited quantity. Hmm. I could take Swift Learner again, but honestly, it's not even noticeable with the experience points at this point. Alright, I decided to go with Grim Reaper Sprint just so I can have the refill of 20 action points if I take anyone out in VATS. Because I've been using VATS quite a bit lately, so it's best used. I might take Weapon Handling next time, or Explorer, I don't know, it's up in the air. Uh, what do we have that's at... The next rank, rank 26. Uh, uh, let's see, 18, 20, 22, 26. Uh, Slayer, lessons learned. Ooh, let's tell you some hard lessons. Hmm. Nerves of Steel, Nerves of Steel perk. You regenerate action points much more quickly than you normally would. Interesting. Tunnel Runner, divide. Uh, hmm. Alright, well, we'll just cross that bridge when we get to it. Now, the other thing I need to do is, well, I'm going to be needing to pay a visit to Freeside again in the near future, so why not finish up a quest that, that has been taking Things God knows how many years to take care of. Side. Huh, so the Garrett sent you to track me down. What a joke. I'm here to collect. No one crosses the Garrett twins. I'd rather not waste the ammo, kid. Uh-oh. Um. I meant to solve this peacefully. Well, shit. What are you so happy about? Ugh. Veronica, you're scaring me. Like, like, you're really scaring me right now. Screw Festus, this is the most terrifying thing I've run into this video. Uh, time powers activate because I really don't want to see this face any more than I have to. Joke. Okay, we're back. Hopefully that terrifying face has subsided and Veronica's face has gone back to normal. Also, I wanted to solve this peacefully, so give me a share of the caps in your hat and you can go free. Now why the hell should I do that? You're below me, kid. I've been killing scum twice your size since before your mother squeezed you out. Okay, maybe I'm really should have just killed him at all right. Plus, seriously, what is with people taking one look at me and saying, Hey, you know what? I think I could take that. This person wearing full combat armor, carrying a plasma rifle in the back. Yeah, I can take him with my dinky little caravan shotgun. All I need is your hat and you're free, a free man. I'll tell Francine you're dead. Well, that sounds like a bit of a bargain. I get to walk free with the Garrets thinking I'm dead. Sure, you can have my hat. I can always buy another with the caps I've got left. Would have been more fun fighting it out, though. See you later, kid. Plus, at least I have my hair. Seriously, look at, look at this. Look at this. Does this look like someone you should be messing with? I look like a space marine. You look like a run-down old rancher. Don't try and mess with me. You got it, punk? That's right, walk away. Wow, you're just starting shit with everyone. Ugh, I'm gonna give it to him, all right, with the end of this plasma rifle. Or maybe I'll just shove my thermatic lance right up his ass. 
Sorry, that that really got very angry. I apologize for that. Let's just get the Michelangelo's and back to the MB NCR Embassy before I burn the strip to the ground. And we are back at Michelangelo's. And my anger urge to kill people has subsided for now. Hello. So let's see, where is he? There he is! Aha, the brave photographer returns. Good to see you. I have some fresh pictures for you. Oh, that's wonderful. Just what I need. Thank you, brave one. Here's some compensation for your work. Uh, is there something in it? There was something about a reward? You have earned it, my friend. Now I can finally unveil my masterpieces to the world, all thanks to you. Come visit me again sometime. Yeah, I'll be sure not to do that. But hey, the strip accepts, uh, blah, 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 accepts me now. Can I make anything with the workbench? Auto you know what? I'll take an auto injection pack for all my troubles. Knowing me, I'm probably going to be wasting it because of my stupidity. Let's see, we can make bottle cap mines. I do love like the how they gave more intense or in-depth look at the crafting in this game than Fallout 3 did because you can only make like a select few weapons, which sadly I can't make in this game, which deeply saddens me. Because even though I can't make the railway rifle, even though the model is in the game, it just won't let me do it, which is which is really disappointing. I can't make the junk jet either. What the hell? Alright, back to the embassy because I, for some reason, the quest isn't showing up on my pit boy, so I want to make sure. Did I even talk to him about it? Evening. It's nice to see someone showing me some courtesy, damn it. It's from my own army. I've worked my ass off for these wasteland rejects, and yet no one ever shows me the reputation I deserve. But the recognition I deserve, damn it. I can't speak tonight. But then again, it is two in the morning, so that would probably count on into it. It's good to see such an outstanding citizen of the NCR. What can I do for you, my friend? Thank you! Thank you! See, this is why I like the NCR the most. Earlier, you mentioned about another assignment? So I did. As you may have noticed, our position here in New Vegas is tenuous. We've made great strides, sure, but the NCR is not welcome here. Merely tolerated. And even then, not by everyone. We've had reports of violence against NCR citizens in a neighborhood just to the northeast called Freeside. Ever been there? Oh boy! Have I been there? Maybe. I go lots of places. Can't remember them all, you know. You'd remember this one. It's a pit where people are robbed, murdered, or simply go to die. Violence is something of a way of life there. But there's been a disturbing rise in the number of attacks on our people lately. More worrying is the fact that our sources suggest the violence is being perpetrated by the gang that runs the place, the Kings. I need someone to look into this that won't attract attention. Would you be interested? Mm, I'll look into it. Good. Our men have come up with two different plans for seeing an end to the violence. First, our sources have tracked most of the attacks back to a King named Pacer. The consensus is that the violence will stop if he's removed. The problem is we can't simply kill him. In the current climate, the NCR would likely be blamed for his death. There is an alternative option, but my sources feel that getting rid of this Pacer fellow is our best shot. Well, if I can't just kill him, what do you want me to do? Make it look like an accident, or pin the deed on someone else. Look into this guy's affairs, and I'm sure you'll find something you can use. Uh, I've heard there's bad blood between him and the Van Graffs. See? That's exactly the type of information we can use. In fact, that's perfect. Those fancy weapons the Van Graffs pedal aren't exactly common. It goes without saying that actually getting the Van Graffs to do the deed would be the ideal solution. However, if Pacer were killed with either a laser or a plasma-based weapon, everyone would automatically assume the Van Graffs did it. Still, unless you want several dozen armed men at your throat, you'd have to kill them without being seen. Be careful. I'll yeah, stealth is not my strong point. However, there is an alternative if you'd rather try to handle things without bloodshed. In that case, we could take a different tag. But one that I at least have more experience with. Diplomacy. If we can't go after the man responsible, we'll simply appeal to the man above him. The kings, including our friend Pacer, report to the leader of their gang. A man who calls himself the king. Wait. You're an ambassador, but negotiations aren't your strong suit? 
Oh, you suck as an ambassador. Tell me more about the king. He's Caucasian, in his mid-thirties, and extremely charismatic. It's that last part we're counting on. The kings are a bunch of young hoodlums who aren't inclined to listen to anyone except him. Get him on your side, and the rest will fall in line. Well, surprise, surprise, the king does owe me a favor, and I'm sure he, after all the work I've done for him, he'd be inclined to pay it. Go and talk to the king. Try to convince him to put an end to this violence. Pacer's a punk, but he won't likely disobey a direct order. The king might not be open to the idea at first, so you may have to integrate yourself with him. Do whatever it takes. When it's done, one way or the other, report back here, and we'll take it from there. Will do, will do. Alright, well, guess I'll go talk to the king. I wish you luck. If you run into some difficulty and think you'd rather just take the shot with Pacer, that's fine too. But we will have to handle that next time. Mostly because we've gone almost to 50 minutes and I need to get some rest. So, next time on Fallout New Vegas, we're going to head back to Freeside again. So, and go talk to the kings again. But probably for the last time. So until then, I will see you guys next time. Later. Veronica, stop staring at me.